keep it nice and square to the material. And we've laid all of our little battens up in place. There we go, folks. We've got her all tacked down. You can see I'm leaving the line completely. Now I'm doing this just to expedite things. Right there, one little piece on the plywood, one piece on the foam core. And a lot of times I would have my second, my helper there. So we've moved on to the next phase, folks. Got our little fin roller, that's a little nylon one. And you're just putting a little pass across the top. and apply a little more of this guide coat. Now, sometimes you do need to turn it. On this phase. And we're doing kind of a circular motion We'll come in there. I'm gonna get some resin on everything. I like to, especially on this first coat when you're doing a mold. Okay, so we're applying a little more resin here. This stuff kinda soaks it up as you go. It is a process. Oh, how about that? To lay out or show where we've been, up in number, but a finer grit to the 800. You just want to do this real methodically, almost like a search, like a search pattern, if you will. Take the brush and just smear a little bit around, spread a little material around, start nice and easy. Mild soapy water solution. We wanna get that compound off the mold. Loading that up and then just a nice easy. Oh yeah. There you go. You can see we got a good swirl going on. I'll turn the air pressure up a little bit. All right, folks, we are rolling out our layer of one ounce CSM. I'm gonna kind of tear this to fit just a little bit. And that's the thing about this one ounce mat. It's quite easy. You want to be it. I want it to be thoroughly mixed. I like to kind of go around the parameter. Beautiful. It's going to wet out pretty easy. And since you guys were here last at episode nine, we sprayed the gel coat and got one layer of one ounce CSM applied to our mold. But since then, we have actually added one more layer of a 1708 biaxial here to our mold. We're trying to just seal that foam a little bit. Perfect. So we have wet out our mat and we are putting a extra heavy coat of resin on our core. We're gonna get this piece of core, gonna flip it right over and bed it. Look at all these bricks we laid out. Come in tight, see how you got resin oozing out almost every one of those little pores? And we'll do it real systematically, like I'll do every brick. You can see now we've removed all of the bricks. Kinda of we brushed a coat of resin on there. I typically like to get some on the blade and just start working my way 
think you folks kind of get the get the idea and as always i like to run some resin under my material this is a real good way of keeping everything nice and even sometimes you can lift and pull a little bit we go with our layer of one ounce CSM it's best to take it off the disc and I like to just work it like that panel here we got to work fast I'm going to kind of just be detailing things we're going to be dragging this blade around trying to pick up some of these little ridges and little corners there get a little bit of cure on it and before this tax okay I am pretty happy with that I hope you guys think that looks good and we posed the question on the last episode episode 12 how many pounds do you guys think that this part weighs at finished weight all right Take my time, see if I can do this without risking life or limb. Let that thing zero out. Seventy-two point four pounds. So I'm curious, are y'all surprised that seventy-two point four pounds for a really nice custom hardtop that I guarantee you this thing is going to be plenty durable to last me for years of service. So it's Captain Joe Buskins here with Island Marine Charters Fish Bump TV on YouTube. My amazing cameraman working hard behind the scenes and as always we will catch you folks next time out.